before I do begin, I'd like to thank today's sponsors for today's luncheon. As always, these events don't happen, wouldn't happen without the generous corporate support of our community partners here in, uh, in the region. Our title sponsor for today is, uh, is BMO Bank of Montreal, and thank you to Julie and her team. Our gold sponsor is Deloitte, and Aaron and the gang are here. Cynthia from Ernst & Young, another one of our gold sponsors, and Tony and the team from the Waterloo Economic Development Corporation. Our bronze sponsors today, Joel Wright is here with the team from Ontario Drive and Gear, and Len Ruby is traveling, but from Krug Furniture, and he's, uh, he's another bronze sponsor. Thank you also to our host, the Inn of Waterloo, for the great lunch and for the, the wonderful service here uh, at the hotel. Um, so at this time, I hope, I hope everyone did enjoy lunch. I'd like to introduce uh, Julie barker Mers, Senior Vice President at BMO, uh, and today's title sponsor, uh, to set the stage and introduce our first speaker, Julie. So good afternoon, everyone. And thank you, Ian. Thank you for uh, partnering with us for what we expect to be a really interesting dialogue in these uh, ever-changing times. Um, these are really interesting times, and there's a lot going on around us. And as a global bank, we have a deep commitment to our North American growth agenda. We're proud to operate in every province in Canada and in 23 states in the, in the U.S. And our acquisitions in the U.S. and others um, that have followed have been part of a broader commitment to transform BMO's banking footprint and better connect with consumers, businesses, and capital markets where our customers need us most and where customers call on us for perspective, guidance, and advice. The success we've built over the past 200 years is proof of our fundamental business agility in booms and recessions through dramatic shifts in culture and technology. We found that the insight forged by our collective experience enables us to manage change, to drive and to shape it, and to help our customers do the same. This is, in fact, why we're here today. In support of this point of view luncheon, to help you better manage, anticipate, and plan forward. And this is why we are delighted to show up today as the title sponsor of this really important event. And we're pleased to welcome all of our clients and all of you in the room to, to share in what we think will be a, an interesting and uh, hopefully thought-provoking dialogue around all things NAFTA and more. So to get us started, I would like to introduce you to our senior economist at BMO, Aaron Gertzen. Aaron analyzes performance and risk across a diverse selection of industries and countries. Aaron also provides macroeconomic support to the economics team and plays a central role in the development of The Goods, the department's monthly commodity price publication. Prior to joining BMO in 2012, Aaron was an economist in the economic, um, in the economic analysis and forecasting division at the Department of Finance Canada. And now he's going to try to give you a macro view in about eight minutes. <laughs> Recognizing that this is going to be a bit of a challenge, we are happy to continue the conversation, maybe set up a call if you're interested, for all of you to continue that conversation following um, Mr. Pettigrew's uh, presentation today. So without further ado, I introduce you to Aaron. Okay, good afternoon. I'm really pleased to be uh, joining you here today. Uh, my role in BMO's economics department, as uh, Julie alluded to in her introduction, is uh, centered on economic risk. And needless to say, one of the, the big risks that we're being asked about a lot these days is the coming renegotiation of NAFTA. Mm -hmm. So how should we think about this incredibly complex problem? What are some of the potential outcomes? Which Canadian industries and which Canadian provinces uh, have the most to win and the most to lose? Uh, the first thing I want to look at is what exactly are the stakes for Canada in this coming renegotiation? Uh, we know that NAFTA is important, but how important is it exactly? Uh, and who has the most to lose? The second thing I want to look at in the data is uh, when we hear some of this anti-trade rhetoric coming out of the United States and the current administration there, uh, what, how we should, should we think about that and, and how much uh, merit should we give to some of those points of view? And thank you uh, so much, Aaron. Uh, to set the, uh, important to set the, the stage of, of how important this relationship is to all three countries and, and how important globalization is and trade is to uh, the North American economy. Um, I'd like to now welcome Anders McKenzie. He's the managing partner for technology, media, and telecom uh, in, for Canada uh, for Deloitte, Deloitte to introduce our keynote speaker. Anders. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. 
Uh, as, uh, as Ian mentioned, I am uh, involved in the technology, media, and telecom industry, lead that practice based here in Kitchener-Waterloo. Uh, and I'm very proud to be here today as one, uh, with my Deloitte partners to, to introduce one of the most enigmatic speakers uh, that you will have, I, hopefully I don't set the bar too high, Pierre. Uh, but you will not be, no matter what I say, you will not be disappointed in, in what you're about to, uh, to witness here. Wait. We are very concerned, not concerned, that's the wrong word, we're very conscious of where, what the future of Canada looks like. Uh, some of you have read our views around the future of mobility or the future of productivity and the future of Canada. And as we come up to the, our 150th anniversary in, in just a few short weeks, looking to the future and where things uh, can and should go uh, is a critical topic. We're living in very uncertain times in many capacities uh, and very st stable times in other capacities. The words you're going to hear from Pierre here uh, are going to, uh, to build on some of those concepts, those themes, be it on, on the populism side of things, some of the trade disruptions, some of the very interesting developments south of the border. Without further ado, uh, Pierre only gave me a one sheet. There is an entire stack if I wanted to, to spend the, the entire hour talking to you about his credentials, but let me give you a little bit of background for those that uh, have not met Pierre's yet. So the Honourable Pierre Pettigrew is an executive advisor with our international practice. He is not an accountant. He's not a lawyer. Uh, we have lots of very interesting folks inside Deloitte that are taking different thinking to advise our clients and where, where we believe Canada and our clients should go. He uh, is also uh, the Government of Canada's special envoy for the Canadian-European Union Trade Agreement, or CETA. So he's working very, very closely with the Prime Minister's office and, and Justin Trudeau, and he perhaps will delve into some of those details. Pierre has had success in both the public and the private sectors. While a consultant at our Deloitte office in Montreal from 1985 to 1995, he, he emerged as a very strong voice for business on international trade issues and unity matters that brought him an appointment to the federal cabinet when he was elected in 1996. Pierre served as a minister uh, in, in that cabinet for 10 years, most notably as Minister of Human Resources and Development, as Minister for International Trade, and Minister of Foreign Affairs, amongst a, a number of other portfolios that he held. Uh, he represented in Parliament the Montreal District of Papineau, which is now, by the way, represented by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Uh, Pierre's on the advisory board of Forbes Manhattan, a Toronto-based private merchant bank specializing in commodities. He sits on a number of profit and non-profit boards. Uh, he's the only Canadian, in fact, on the board of the Inter-American Dialogue in Washington. And Pierre regularly arbitrates international trade disputes between countries at the World Trade Organization uh, in Geneva. So for those of you who haven't met Pierre, you can, you can attest that there's an impressive resume. Uh, he's a more impressive speaker. I'm pleased to welcome to the stage the Honourable Pierre Pettigrew. I'm delighted to be here with uh, my, my Deloitte partners. I'm, I'm a BMO, a happy BMO client, so we're really in, in the family. And thank you, Mr. Mayor, for being here today. I, I was raised by a father who was a municipal councillor for 16 years, so I've been a, in a home of municipal politics, and I, I know how demanding that can be, so it's very kind of you to be with us today. I'm glad Aaron presented the NAFTA agreement so well because it will uh, allow me uh, to see the context in which this whole renegotiation is going to take place. And I think to really do a good job on that front, we have to understand the sort of situation in, in which we are. It has happened. The basic question every client I meet these days uh, at, at, at the firm um, is always, are we going through a radical transformation? Is this the end of globalization, the end of this Thatcher Reagan era, and you know, with the pendulum, and are we going to the complete, or is it a simple adjustment? So, um, you know, there has been traditionally a free flow of, of uh, individuals between Canada and the US, some challenges with the uh, T93 visa and, and uh, green cards and, and uh, and you've got a real interest right now in, um, you know, there's a, there's a global fight for the best and the brightest in a range of industries. Uh, you know, Aaron's presentation was pretty clear that really there's a, there's a technology productivity theme that is driving um, what is happening in the area of uh, employment. And uh, so what do you think we need to be focused on, the things to watch when it comes to 
making sure that trade agreements, taxation, the range of things uh, keep us in a very good position to attract the best and the brightest, especially in a region like Waterloo where uh, talent has been a very important asset. Well, first of all, I think we have to be true to our values and who we are. I think we become very attractive for a lot of talent. Uh, a breeze, openness, and, diver and thrive on diversity and say it, I think that will bring a lot of young talent to the region if we continue to be hospitable, respectful, and, and our, ourselves with, with, you know, with a better redistribution of opportunity. Um, thank you so much for, for doing that, Tony, uh, it, to give a, a local flavor of, uh, of why this matters. Uh, I'd like to introduce um, and, and call on uh, Cynthia McIntyre to come up and, and thank Pierre on behalf of the group. Um, Ian, and thank you so much, Pierre. I, I think, um, Pierre, you've left us with renewed optimism, and uh, I share that optimism. And, you know, we have grown accustomed to thinking very globally, and I think we all want to believe that we can continue to do that. Um, and, but the one thing I will agree with you is that uh, in the face of uncertainty, which I think is becoming the new norm, uh, we cannot just be paralyzed and we need to consider new ways of dealing with that and continue to move forward. And you, you touched on um, different relationships being forged to address ways to be more collaborative and to seek different ways to sort of go around what we think are the normal channels to make, get things done. And when you reflect on it, that's what goes on in the Waterloo region all of the time. Makes me proud to be a resident here and to work in our business community. So I am very confident that we will see through this period of uncertainty and uh, position us to succeed going forward. Thank you so much. So just before we conclude today, uh, once again, I want to uh, take the opportunity to thank our, our sponsors for today. These, uh, as I say, these events don't happen without the uh, generous support of our, of our membership and our sponsors. So to our title sponsor, to BMO, uh, uh, Bank of Montreal, appreciate your support. To our gold sponsors, our friends at Deloitte, Ernst & Young, and the Waterloo Economic Development Corporation, and as well, our uh, friends as bronze sponsors, the Ontario Driving Gear and Krug Furniture. And thank you to all of you for taking time out of this, uh, of your busy day uh, to join us today for, uh, for this important event.